Hey guys, Sarah here, back with another video, and if you did not know, I'm going to post all of the days this week, because, hey guys, <laughs> because uh, I'm starting the three videos in one week next week, so I'm going to be posting usually from now on um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so let's get on to the video. Today's video is Hamster Care. So, if you didn't know, I have a hamster. His name is Toffee. And here's his cage. The first thing is cage. You need a... I'm not kidding, guys. You need a 40 or 50 gallon tank. This is a 50 gallon... And I said breeder in the last thing. This is not a breeder. This is a barred cage. And it's super big. If you did not know, this is my desk compared to the cage. It's, it's humongous. So, next item is the wheel. I have this 6 inch, and I thought it was big enough for toffee, but this is big enough for a, um, oh, there's toffee right there. Next, you need your hamster. <laughs> um, next, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, going to the bathroom, okay. <laughs> um, you need about this big for a, um, for a, like, Russian. But I have an 8-inch, which I didn't ever show you guys, but I did get an 8-inch right there. It is from PetSmart, and they got new restocks of... Just toffee, toffee. Um, re new stock, new restocks of wheels, so that is the wheel. And tomorrow I'm going to do a video with Chloe, so if she comes over. So stay in tune for that if you want to see that. Next, you need a hiding place. Okay, Toffee, I don't want you to get out right now, okay? You need a hiding place. This is my hiding place. It is just a, um, Toffee. There, go in it. See how big you are. This is how big he is compared to it. So, yeah, he... This is a mini-sized igloo, but this is perfect size for a hammy, a Syrian hammy. And it's just the blue color, and you can get this at Petco, PetSmart, and some other, like, Pet Supply places, like Pet Supply Plus. I have a Pet Supply Plus. So, yeah, you need one of those. Well, I would recommend two of them right now. I don't have two of them because I'm making one. I make a lot of them. I just use extra jars that I have, wash them out, use them. Next, I, you definitely need these. They're chews. So this is a loofah and veggie chew. So it's just called veggie wedges. This is the veggie wedge I have in his cage. It is just a, has loofah, orange loofah. Sorry about the green stuff on my hands. It's really gross, it's marker. And then some veggie type of things. He likes chewing on it, it's just not his favorite. And I can keep it in his cage because he doesn't chew on it like completely like he did with his whimsy chew. Um, so yeah, if you um, want a good treat that your hamster won't chew on all the time, this is the treat to go with. I have two chews in my tank. I have that one on top of the igloo and these little wood chews. Next, you need a water bottle. I have this little water bottle. Because, um, this one is really, like, perfect sized. It's pretty small, but it's, like, a four ounce, so I really like it. And then, I have a DIY for you guys today. A cup, um, a water bottle holder. So just take a tiny cup or empty cup, and, yeah, he does chew on it, like, the teeniest, tiniest bit. And cut a slant, and then see if your water bottle fits. And this is the perfect way to keep it up without your hamster trying to, like, bite at it or fall. Like, make it fall or anything like that. So, this is what you need. And then, this fits perfectly inside of it. Toffee barely ever makes it fall down. Look who's waiting for some water. Are you? No, you're not. So, next is I definitely recommend a food dish just because food dishes are so important because if you scatter feed them you'll never know how much any hamster will eat <laughs> so i would definitely recommend having a food dish this is his it's just a little empty mint container that i use because i have like no like proper food dishes you know so yeah 
Next, I would always recommend this. You don't have to, I mean, this is basically the essentials if you want to get a hamster. But I always like to include something extra. So just like a toy for them to play with. So this is the toy I have. This is just a little, like, tube. And he does fit in this. He barely ever goes in it. Ooh. Um, he climbs on it a lot, just having fun climbing on it, going upstairs. He has, like, an upstairs, too. And it's just a purple little tube. I think it's for, like, uh, Russians and dwarfs, but my friend gave it to me, so I just use it for him. He's never really gone inside of this, but, like, three times. He just climbs on it, and he seems like it's really fun, because sometimes he falls off, and then, he's just, and then he just gets back on and plays on it. So this I would definitely recommend, because it's really funny watching them get on there and just um, fall off and everything. So I would totally recommend a toy. And, of course, you need your hammy. I have my little hammy here in this little cage. I have a little hammy. This is my little hammy, Toffee. Toffee ham. And he is a short-haired Syrian. This is about as big as you need for a Syrian, because look at how tiny he is compared to his cage. So that's how tiny he should be compared to his cage. Now you can see him drinking. Well, that's so cool. I never knew you, you could do that before. So yeah, guys, this is what you need to care for Hammy, and he looks so cute right now. You can see my socks. Do they say Tuesday? Yeah, good, because it's Tuesday. So here he is. I love the noise. I don't know why. But this is what you need to care for a hamster. Oh, I almost forgot. You need a cup of tea. Oh, So, one of the last things is bedding. So, I have this paper bedding from Pet Supply Plus, and this is what he's using right now. And this is super good, and it, look at how much it expands, guys. It's crazy. So, this is for hammies. This kind of looks like toffee, doesn't it? For bunnies, for guineas, for rats, um, really anything like that. And I use this for Toffee, and he really likes cuddling up in it. And this is how it looks like. It's just really soft and easy to expand and everything. And so that's why barely any of it's used. I only did it. I changed his cage once, and it was up here. And, then, and it goes like that much for a 40 or 50 gallon, so I love it. And, yeah. Last things last, you're going to have to need this if you're a hamster owner. Vinegar water, which I put at the bottom little tin of the cage, which makes it not stink very much. A towel to clean that all off. I have this little towel that I put in my hamster bin. And you need a plastic bag, because these are so important, because you want your bedding to go in here, don't you? So, um... My bedding goes in here, and yeah, this is just a Meyer bag, and it's perfect sizing for that. And guys, if you didn't know if I have a hamster bin, I do have a hamster bin. And I love this thing so much. You should definitely have one if you have a ton of hamster supplies. So guys, if you wanted to see more hamster videos, like this video more than more, more often than any other video. And I'll totally do more hamster videos and more animal videos because I just love animals so much. So guys, if you're, you're all probably asking why I have this. This is just a play cage for him. This is not his normal cage. So yeah, guys, hope you comment, like, and subscribe for more videos from Sarah Higby. Bye!